In the metals quadrant, gold was up almost three quarters of 1% on the highs today, finishing near its highs, not quite at its highs, but above 1245 when it was on its highs and that 1242 area was what I talked about the last time I talked about gold as being sort of the breakout area that the gold contract was struggling with and with stocks lower today, quite a bit lower again, extending that sell off that we've seen in stocks this week, the flight to quality breakout may have finally happened. Again, being above 1242, you could see a little bit of a pullback there, but if stocks continue to fall, we're going to continue to get this flight to quality bid and gold is gonna be the main beneficiary of that. Part of it is associated with the Huawei CFO arrested. US allies are not worried about retaliation. They're worried about their own executives, several trips from several major uh, developed countries have been canceled to China. These are just run of the mill business trips where now there's concerns both in the US and abroad. And again, there hasn't been direct comment on this incident of the Huawei CFO being arrested in Canada from either President Trump or President Xi Jinping, which again raises the question of whether maybe this particular action was discussed at dinner or just hasn't reached the high level discussion point that it may need to in order to progress any further. And that is pushing gold higher as just a being a geopolitical tension, which tends to push gold. So until we get some resolution to that, gold could benefit to the upside. And also the dollar is lower again. We have two days in a row now lower in the dollar. However, this is only the second down week in the last eight for the dollar index. So the inverse relationship between gold and the dollar, the dollar certainly got out of the way of the gold breakout. Doesn't mean it's going to continue that way. As I mentioned, only the second down week in the last eight, the dollar has been strong. Its uptrend has not been broken, but it is noted that we now have a down week and a few day streak of lower prices in the dollar index, helping gold move higher.